What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica Below Zero. Last episode, we went and talked to Margaret. We got some upgrades. We got some things. We scanned some stuff. Uh, we got nickel, which is super cool. I didn't know nickel was down in there. And uh, yeah, just basically did some things. We got the first depth module on our C truck. So I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to do more things, more stuff. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Now, what is the plan? Well, uh, the plan is we're going to head back to where we were. I want to keep scanning. I want to scan for more stuff because I really want that ultra high capacity O2 tank. And I um I kind of want some of the like the other stuff that was down in there. And then we also need to grab some spiral plant clippings. And then we also need to explore the ship, the sunken ship. Actually... Am I going to have enough storage? Am I going to have enough room to do all of that? I'd like to do all of that while I was over there. And I'd also like to build the moon pool. Okay. You know what? So we're going to focus on getting some upgrades, getting unlocks, building things, building the moon pool. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Okay. Awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. <laughs> um, also, all social media links are down below. If you guys want to, you know, catch on Twitter and Instagram and Discord. Like, you know, we have all of this. So make sure, make sure you're not, you're, you know, maybe, maybe follow those. Anyways, let's get on over here. So, um, I would say, I think we're going to dedicate an entire episode to exploring that. Sh well, we're going to have an episode be the focus of exploring that sunken ship because there's quite a bit in there. There's quite a bit of stuff to do around there. Uh, and I think I have an idea of what we're going to tie it in with as well. I'm trying to like kind of organize and compartmentalize these episodes. So, you know, similar things are going on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wait to do that until the next episode. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be cool. But we got to get more unlocks. We got to get more unlocks, more upgrades and uh, just making our life easier. You know, it's trying to trying to survive on an alien world underwater. We need all the help we can get. All right, you know what? So since we're over here, um, you know what? Never mind. I was gonna say since we're over here, let's grab, let's grab some lithium, but I'm not going to because lithium it's always here. We can always grab it. Let's go grab the other stuff instead. Let's go grab the stuff that we can't always grab. Oh shoot! I probably should have repaired my sea moth. Mhm. Mm Are you following me? Stop following me. And oh my gosh, our battery's getting low. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to be careful here. Now, let's see how far our 300 meters actually gets us because uh, we've got a lot of uh, sea monkey nests to explore. So we're at like, what, 160? Okay, so we're, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so let's pop down in here. And uh, let me hop out. I'm going to hop out. I'm going to repair this guy because I'm worried that's going to, you know, we're going to we're going to crush it and blow it up. Uh, let's swap a repair tool out for a flashlight because I don't think we're going to be using a flashlight a whole lot anymore. Okay. So we are looking for sea monkey nests with items in them. Uh, you have something in you. But what is it? Ah, yes. No, you don't actually. Okay, it's just... Uh, it's just nothing. All right. So... Let's see here. We kind of already went down in this area. I want to go back out to the area where we were kind of at before. We were kind of like outside a little bit. Because I feel like that's where my uh, my things... What kind of fish is that? Huh. Interesting. Okay, so there's nothing in that one. Yeah, we were kind of out here last time exploring around. No nests here. We already went that way. Okay, let's go back this way a little bit. Mm, I think we're getting out of the sea monkey nest area. Yeah, we kind of are. Okay, so let's turn around. Let's head back. Let's go back this way. All right, that makes me think that the other fragment has got to be... Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, yeah, this is the grapple yarn. Um, so every time I've ever played Subnautica Blow Zero, I've never actually got the grappling arm so this would be the first time i ever got the grappling arm uh one of two hello okay. you don't have anything it looks like he's supposed to be holding something but it doesn't have anything in his hands oh huh. okay uh grappling arm that is a huge thing 
I'm actually really excited to see if we can actually unlock that. <laughs> I want the grappling arm so bad. Okay, so no more nests right in here. We got that one last time. I'm pretty sure this takes us... This is going to take us out and down, isn't it? To... Yeah. Well... Kind of is. Mm, let's explore around it. I know what's down there. We're not ready to go down there yet. We are not ready yet. But we are looking for... We're looking for more uh, sea monkey nests. All right, that's fine. Let's head back into here. And let's kind of see what's going on in here. Maybe there are more nests that I missed. Oh, holy moly. There's a plant right there. It just ate something. Wait, where the heck are we? Does that just go into the, the darker area? I think it does. I think it just goes straight down. Hmm. Really glad that I'm in my sea truck now. I didn't realize those eating plants were in here. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Thruster upgrade? I think that's what this is. Okay. Thruster upgrade. Afterburner upgrade. Heck yes. Uh, did, did we get it? Uh, yes, I think we did get it. <laughs> That's weird. It didn't make a sound and it didn't make, it didn't give me anything. So I'm guessing we unlocked it. Uh, what have we got down here? <gasps> Is that the other? Oh my gosh. That's the other grappling arm fragment. No way. Holy moly, that is so nice. <gasps> I'm so excited about that. This is my first time I'll ever play with that thing. Hello. Huh. Wow. Um, I, you're, I have to get out to get that. Thank you. Very kind of you. Okay. Uh, I need that ultra high capacity O2 tank, though. That's kind of what we're looking for. Oh, you guys got like nests. You got like things all over the place, huh? There's another nest. Oh, there's another grappling arm fragment. Um, I don't really need it. Oh, is that is that nickel right there? Hold on. I'm gonna grab the nickel if I can. Might as well. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's see what else we got. Any more nests? I feel like we're gonna come out to the uh, big floating rock thing again. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh, where are we? Is that nickel or is that silver? That looks like silver. I don't think that's nickel. That's silver. Okay. Uh, hold on. What's up here? Any more nests? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, here's another one. Um, that looks like the afterburner, which we already have. What's down in here? What the heck area is this? Oh, is this the area that's going to take us down to, uh, it's like their, uh, the archaeology ruin thing area? Yep, it is. Okay. Oh, neat. Oh, what's this guy? Sea truck docking module fragment. Heck yes. Need those two. One of three. There's one down here. It's got to be. That means all three of them down here. It's got to be. It's got to be. Uh-huh. Yep, we got to go scan all of that for sure. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Perhaps. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. Oh, awesome. I will provide a signal. Thank you for the signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Appreciate it. Uh, architect artifact. Weird. 
What we got over here? So can the architects breathe underwater? Like, is is that a thing that they can do? Because I've always noticed these sites like this. And like, do do they themselves? Like, can they breathe underwater or can they do they just not need oxygen? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm super confuzzled now. Uh, oh, docky module, docky module. Heck yes. I don't think there's anything in here that's going to eat me. Pretty sure this area is fairly okay, safe. <laughs> okay, so there's two. Third one should be around here somewhere. Well, it should be around here somewhere. Uh, I need oxygen, though. Hey, it was this? That was underwater, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it was. Where's this third one at? Oh, hello. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all <laughs> corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. It's... Ow! It's so funny because it's also kind of true. <laughs> oh, I don't see this fragment anywhere! I don't see it anywhere. I don't know where the heck... Where did you go? Maybe it's up. Maybe it's maybe I need to backtrack a little bit. Maybe I came in from like the side, you know, and I need to like kind of backtrack up the up the path a little bit more. Okay, so let's see. I found one like right here. Maybe I need to go back this way. Maybe I maybe I like just blatantly missed it. Over here, maybe. <gasps> yeah, right here. Awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, apparently the sea truck, sea truck docking module is in this area. That's fantastic. Okay, so there's that. Now, we need to go back. I need to get that higher capacity tank. The only problem is I don't remember how I actually got here from the sea monkey area. <laughs> Was it this way? I don't know. We'll find our way back. Um, I don't know where we're at, but geez Louise, is that a huge iceberg uh and we're right underneath a crashed ship and that thing just came out of the ground excuse me i need to go this way <laughs> all right back in the sea monkey nest let's find our oh is this the thermal upgrade thing this might be the thermal upgrade thing did we already unlock this yeah we already unlocked that okay i think the only thing in this area that i haven't found yet is the that right there that guy i think this is that's it that's it pretty sure the ultra capacity tank is the only thing i didn't find in this area because we got the grappling arm we got the speed we got the uh, afterburner we've got the yeah i think we've gotten everything down here now oh that is super nice okay so now we are also going to head <sighs> we got to go to um the vent garden biome because we need those spiral plants and the problem with that vent garden biome is that there's things that want to eat us in them like in that area so we gotta be a little safe here so i'm gonna slowly make my way over this way i'm using my base as like my baseline because I know it's on that side. I know the Delta Station Island is right here. And I know that the uh, Vent Gardens are on the west side. Behind the island. So I know it's over. I know they're over here somewhere. Oh, I just got to find them. I think they're right here somewhere. 
One problem is like, there's also, yep, here it is. Yeah, that that's the problem. Is that there's a Leviathan over here too. And I don't know where it's at. I can't see it. Turn the lights off. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Uh, how convenient. We have to swim up through the bottom of that thing. <laughs> actually, you know what? There's multiple vent gardens. Seek fluid and take. It looks like he's stuck, actually. It's kind of funny. It definitely looks like it's stuck. But I don't know if I really want it to. Oh, there's another one right there. Hmm. How wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's definitely stuck in there, but I'm a little bit worried that, okay, it's stuck in there. What happens if I get out and go swim in there? Is he going to try to eat me inside of the, inside of that thing? I don't know if it's going to try to eat me while it's inside there. I guess there's only one way to, one way to find out. Let's save the game. Let's, let's do it. Let's go for it. Turn the light off here. This is a bad idea. I'm going to get eaten. Garden. Harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Just so you all know, this is a terrible idea. Oh yeah, extra bad idea. Because he's in here. Like, this is a terrible idea. Yeah, no, this is a really bad idea. Well. He's stuck in here. Maybe we should go to a different one. That Leviathan is legit stuck inside of a vent garden. Maybe we should go to a different vent garden. Because it's all water on the inside of that, too. That is actually quite hilarious. It's like a pet leviathan in a side of a fishbowl. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's 100% stuck inside of that vent garden. That is too great. I mean, it kind of stinks because like I needed to get inside of there, but... Like, I don't think, I don't think you can get out. Should we try shocking him? Let's try shocking him. Yeah, it's like stuck, stuck. Stupid little fish. Immediately. Um, I really need fluid intake. Okay, let's go see if we can find another vent garden. That's too funny. He's legitly inside of the vent garden. That is hilarious. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like three different vent gardens too. I thought there was. I could be wrong. But I really need those spiral clippings. Like, it's funny, but it's also like a pain because normally you go inside of it and you're safe while you're in it. And then, uh, yeah, I don't see any more vent gardens over here. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. I got to be careful, though. Wait, is that a vent garden? Yeah, I got to be careful, though, because um, I'm like deadly thirsty right now. Actually, you know what? I have a thermal blade. Let's let's get out and try to cook some food. Uh, Yeah, we're just going to go in here. I'm gonna shock you to get you out of here. Okay, is there is there a fish that I okay let me get you? Okay, let's eat that. Gives me a little bit of water. Not a lot. Okay. Let's uh let's go grab our let's go grab our spiral plant real fast. That's what we're here for. That's all I need. And then we'll head out. This is an interesting looking one. This one's all yellow.
It's so creepy swimming inside of these things. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, are you the spiral plant? Yes, you are. Okay, we're gonna grab a bunch. I don't know how many we need. I don't think we need that many, but you know, just in case. You know what? I'm gonna stab you. I'm sorry, but I need to eat you. And I need to eat you. It's a little, it's a little bit of food, a little bit, or it's a little bit of water. It's not a lot, but. Okay, um, let's grab one more. Now you cannot plant these. Well, let's grab another one just to be safe. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's head back. Holy moly. We got a whole, I feel like we've gotten a lot done. Like, I feel like we've gotten a lot done. Where's my sea truck? There you are. Seek fluid intake immediately. I know, I'm working on it. I need to eat another one of you. I feel like we've gotten a lot done. We've gotten so many blueprints. Um, look at that, it's a little tiny vent garden. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know. Okay. Let's head back home. Head back to this. Ooh. Oh, that's a thermal, thermal fragment. We'll shoot. We're here. Let's grab the thermal plant fragment. Why not? One of two? Yes. Okay, well, here's the other one. Ooh. I don't think there's any thermal vents near our base currently, but hey, we could always move. All right, let's get, let's get back home. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yes, I know. The nearby spires are substantial thermal vent structures hospitable to coral formation. Holy moly. Look at these. I didn't realize how big these things were. That's cool. All right, it's time for us to head home. Time for us to head back. I don't know how deep we are. I don't even know which way is up. I think we're going up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's head back. Oh, you see my base. We were so far away. Oh my gosh, we were far away. All right. So now we're finally back at home. Let's go ahead and let's get some. Uh, let's get some of our favorite peppers. We got some delicious. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should I just grab some bladder fish. Let's just grab some bladder fish because that's what I mean. That's really what we need right now, anyways. It's just some water. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that they removed the bleach out of the game with the, uh, what was it? Oh, it was the coral tubes, huh? It was coral tubes and salt. Welcome aboard, Captain. Gave us bleach. That was really nice though. It was a good source of water. All right, so let's go ahead and consume that. Vital consume that. Stabilizing. Got some peppers. Perfect, hundreds of hundreds. Okay, now, uh, let's see here. We have the spiral plant clippings. So we can make the synthetic fiber, which synthetic fiber, I believe is, it's Ruby and spiral plant clipping. I'm pretty sure. So let's grab those. Let's make one synthetic fiber. Yeah. Ruby and spiral plant clipping. It's weird that that's a synthetic fiber. All right. So see, talk to death module mark two Ruby enamel glass. Uh, did I make the enameled glass? And we need the depth module mark one. So we'll grab that. Now we can't make the mark three because we don't have the kyanite crystals yet. Oh wait, mark one. Oh no, it's in here. Mark two. Perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that back on here. That's going to give us what? 600 meters depth. I think maybe, maybe not quite that much. I don't remember. 650 nice all right so there's that now i also want the ultra high capacity tank for lithium holy shamoles that's actually fairly easy that's not bad uh two three four oh man that's crazy that that's for lithium okay ultra high capacity so we went from 90 seconds of oxygen to 180 Oh my gosh, that just doubled. <laughs> it just doubled our oxygen capacity. <gasps> oh, that's nice. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's go and put our spiral clippings away. 
these away as well. All right, now I want to build the moon pool. I really want to build the moon pool, but I also want to build the rectangular room. Hmm. What does the moon pool take to build? Let's grab our let's grab our habitat builder out here. Habitat builder, base pieces, moon pool, titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. That's not bad. Hostile ingot times two. Well, I need the moon pool more than anything right now. So let's do that. Let's get two titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. Uh I don't think I have any lubricant. And I have one lead. Do I seriously not have any other lead? Gosh, I feel like I go through lead so fast. Okay, so we need lead and lubricant. All right, let's go grab those. And titanium, I guess. So basically just a little bit of everything. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, look at our oxygen capacity. Holy moly. That is so nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two titanium ingots. And then, oh, I didn't grab the lubricant. Darn it, I didn't grab the creep vine. Seed cluster. Okay, perfect. So let's go grab a creep vine seed cluster. Oh, where's the creep closest one? Probably over here. Seeds acquired. Lubricant being made. Do I need another lubricant? Probably, because we're probably going to have to use one for the prawn suit. I think we're good. Do we have everything now? Lead. Wait. What? I grabbed. Did I not grab? Okay. Whew. I was like, I got, I know I got at least a piece of lead. All right, let's grab this moon pool. Put it right there. Oh, we're going to be able to charge our Seamoth now. Or not Seamoth. God, gosh, I played this game for so long. You would think I know it's not the Seamoth. <laughs> the Z truck. The Z truck. Um, oh, actually, speaking of. We need to get the vehicle upgrade console made as well because we unlocked that. I think you just unlock that with the moon pool now. I don't think it's a separate upgrade. Uh, and then what's required for that? So interior pieces, titanium computer chip, copper wire. Okay, I'm not really worried about that. Oh, look at that, it can charge up now. Charge up my little buddy, charge up. Let me repair you too. Oh, this is so nice. All right, so uh, what else did we get? Did we unlock anything else? Oh, that's right. We unlocked. Uh, oh, the test override module. We can't make that yet. Do we unlock a deployable? Do we unlock the um, quantum locker? <gasps> Titanium advanced wiring kit and an ion cube. Oh, that's like kind of a big deal. I see shark perimeter defense. Don't need that. Afterburner wiring kit, power cell, lithium. Oh, we need. I need the laser cutter. I never made the laser cutter, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, let me drop everything off. We need the laser cutter. Before I forget and make anything else, what do we need for laser cutter? Uh, let's go and pin the recipe. So we need a battery, two diamond. So battery, two diamond, titanium and crystalline sulfur, two diamond, titanium. Uh, we're gonna need a battery, crystalline sulfur, ribbon plant, and do I have any more ribbon plant? No, let's go grab another ribbon plant. I'm just going to build another battery for this because I don't want to. Uh, I know I have the extra one on the charger, but I want to keep the extra one on the charger just in case we need it for anything, you know? What's in here? Anything in here? Nothing in here. <gasps> ribbon plant. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think we can plant ribbon plant too. I'm going to grab a couple extra. Oh, I don't have the exterior grow bed yet though. Uh, We'll get to that. We'll get to it at a point. Um, also, I think my base lost power <laughs> because my uh, my C truck was so Wait, dead. Yeah, power yeah, she did. She, she lost power, and it's nighttime, offline. so we're gonna have to kind of wait a minute. <laughs> Darn it! I need it to be daytime. Can we have daytime now, please? Daytime, please. Maybe it's gonna be daytime soon. Does that look like daytime, or does this look like a super weird nighttime? Oh, power restored. Wonderful. Power restored. All primary systems. Uh oh, we're high. hovering at one. Mm -hmm. Can't use the fabricator. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for a second for the power. 
All right, so I walked away from it, it came back. Look at that, full charge, everything's good to go. So, let's grab our battery and then we're gonna grab a laser cutter because we're gonna need that for when we go and explore that sunken ship. So that right there means that we're good. You should be fully charged. Uh, are you fully charged? Looks like it's fully charged. And then, do we wanna make do we want to make the ion storage? Hmm. It is handy and I normally throw extra food, water and th things like that in there. Um, I don't know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Should we make it? Should we not? Yeah, we'll probably end up making it. I mean, who are we kidding? We'll probably end up making it. Uh, we can go ahead and unpin our stuff and everything's looking good. Okay, so now we need Sea truck docking module for the prawn suit, which we don't even have. We don't have the prawn suit yet. We need that. We need the storage module. The fabricator, I'm not super worried about, to be completely honest. Um. Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Oh my gosh, we got all kinds of fun stuff in here. I like how everything has the, the little plus on it because I always scroll past it so fast. It never actually like registers it as, uh, hey, I already looked at it, you know? So, okay, looking good, looking good. Test override module, we need to make that too, but we can't, we, gotta, we have to go explore that ship first. So, uh, but that's gonna be the next episode because that's gonna end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, like I said, next episode, we're gonna go explore the crashed ship. Next episode's gonna be a beefy one. Exploring the crashed ship, we're probably gonna make the test override module and we're probably gonna install the test override module. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to figure out how I want to break these things up, you know? Uh, but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Hi, everybody.